Hello, my name is Martin and I greet you on the iTV's channel. Today we are reviewing Sophos Home Premium, a home antivirus built on the best security practices for enterprise customers. We will see how it works, check if it is really effective and of course how much it costs. At the end I will present the rating of this software based on these four key characteristics. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Pricing. To get Sophos Antivirus, open the vendor's official website sophos.com, click on the services and products tab and select Sophos Home. Okay, on the main page we already see the price of the product, so let's start by analyzing its pricing. Sophos Home Premium is available for Windows and Mac devices by annual subscription for $35. If you want us to also look into Sophos products for mobile devices, write in the comments. If you take two or even a three year subscription, you may save $16 or $40 respectively. At the same time, subscription rules allow you to freely remove and add new devices to your account. Also, I want to note that the Sophos Home Trial version, which is available for new users without credit card details. Its functionality is fully consistent with the premium version, but only for 30 days and online chat support. Installation. So I select free trial and download the online installer. The installation process is not difficult. You must confirm the license agreement and indicate whether you have a Sophos account. If yes, then choose the left option. Here you will need to enter your email to receive a confirmation code for adding a device to your account. And if you are a new user, then when you select the right option, the installation will immediately begin and after it, you will be prompted to create your account. And here we are in the Sophos Home Enterprise menu. At first glance, it looks the same as in other antiviruses. It displays the status of the protection modules, contains some additional menu items and large scan button on the left. But almost all the buttons here are actually some kind of hyperlinks leading to the corresponding section of the Sophos central panel. Let's click on the dashboard and see it. Features. All aspects of protection, the behavior of antivirus components and even the list of detected threats all of these you manage online. Sophos is an antivirus that fully works from the cloud. The local version is only used to facilitate the sharing of uh, thread data and receiving comments from the account dashboard. The settings are individual for each connected device. Here at the top you can rename your device or remove it from your account. And here is the scan button, which allows you to remotely initiate a scan on a selected device. If you deem this feature useless, you won't get a notification about virus or a malware threat. You can also initiate a scan from the local client, but in both cases, an internet connection is required for it to work. Now let's take a closer look at the features that Sophos Home provides to the user. The status tab displays information about the main protective modules and quick links to their menus. Just below that is the new activity panel, which is a shortened version of the history tab. All security incidents of your PC will be collected in this log and here you can react to them. Also, you can remotely create exclusion and restore all isolated threats. The protection tab contains the most important component of Sophos Home, real-time protection. It is recommended to keep this active protection enabled at all times since it significantly reduces the risk of malware infection. Here also is the list of exclusions for simple files and folder and executable files of applications. On the right, you can independently exclude certain areas of your PC from regular scans. For example, let's exclude some files from my desktop. To get its address directly, I'll open its context menu while holding shift and select copy as path. Next, simply select the input line, press paste and click add. The scheduled scan also uses the list of exclusions, but it would be more correct to call it regular scan. As you can see, here are available only days of the week and hourly intervals of 30 minutes, one time scan and templates are not supported. Other security features include malicious traffic detection and AMSI protection. Also, as you can see, Sophos Home can use Cloud AI, which is used to detect little known threats such as zero day vulnerabilities. The vendor paid special attention to protection against exploits. 
Sophos Home can detect intrusion attempts from removable devices through executable code and by unauthorized access to system security mechanisms. It can also prevent infection by the CFT protocol. Ransomware has a more modest list. There is a module for detecting ransomware and protecting master boot record. By the way, in most antiviruses, this feature is available only as part of premium subscriptions. Web protection, at first glance, has nothing outstanding. It blocks known malicious sites, protects online banking, and uses its own files reputation system. You can create a whitelist, a list of sites excluded from blocking, Payment security also includes protection against interception of uh, keystrokes from the keyboard. The web filtering tab is basically a big list of parental controls. With its help, you can restrict access to 28 categories of sites, some of which I have not seen before in other programs. In addition to the additional groups of illegal sites, here you can block access to religious sites, streaming media, and even online translators. Unfortunately, you cannot add your own site to the block list, but you can create exceptions for accidentally blocked sites. And my favorite tab, privacy. As you can see, it was created for just one function, blocking unauthorized access to a webcam. However, this is another feature that is only available as a premium feature in other enterprises, and it is really useful in our time. Testing. Now let's check whether Sophos Home is really effective against typical threats. Let's start from the web filtering module testing. Let's check it out in the gambling sites category. To begin with, I'm opening a few websites, adding a couple of well-known bookmakers and checking their availability. Now I will block this category in the dashboard and try to refresh the pages. The first attempt is unsuccessful. Perhaps the changes have not yet taken effect. Let's try again. Success. All pages are blocked. Now let's check the protection against downloading threats from the internet. To do this, I'm visiting the icar.org website. They have harmless files disguised as viruses for testing antiviruses software. Let's start with the cyber criminal's favorite trick, malware disguised inside an archive. Sophos blocked both threats before they appeared on my PC. And finally, I will check the speed of real-time detection of file threats. To do this, I open a text file by iCar and save its contents to a file on my desktop. Literally a moment after I clicked save, Sophos displayed a notification about a detected threat. Let's wait a bit and see what Sophos Home will do if the user does not respond to the threat. And here I have a new notification that it was automatically cleaned up. Now let's go back to the account dashboard and check the history tab. Records of all registered incidents are collected and stored there. And if I click on Show Advanced Options, it shows the menu where I can restore the locked file and exclude it from future scanning. Now let me sum it all up about Sophos Home. Sum up. File protection. The security module package is really good. There are tools here both from typical threats such as key loggers and to counter infection from removable media or via Azure Data X. Network protection. Sophos has its own file safety rating, malicious traffic detection systems and website block by category systems. A small disadvantage is the lack of an additional blacklist of sites, but it is not a critical necessity. Functionality. Antivirus fully operates in the cloud. Therefore, it constantly gets the latest updates of protection modules and threat detection databases. On the other hand, the process could be negatively impacted by slow or unstable internet connection. Price. There is no free version. A one-year subscription will cost $45, but you can save money if you purchase it for a longer period. If one would compare it to other antiviruses, it is a bit more expensive than Avast, but cheaper than Bitdefender. In total, Sophos Home gets 4.8 out of 5 in my rating, which is almost an excellent result for antivirus software of this class. This is the ideal solution if you have multiple PCs at your house or want to protect your family members from the dangers of the internet even when you are away from them. Use the comments under the video if you still have any questions and if not, you can thank our team by liking this video. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next IT Reviews. Bye.